What is he doing now? What? Hello fellow weeps and creeps. I'm sorry guys, I didn't want to call you creep, but I'm on a juice cleanse. Already start to feel a bit mental. Anyways, today we are back on the official side of uh, Jump Ryu. As you know, everything is in Japanese, so I have no idea what's going on. But I know one thing, it's, it's, it's gonna get super spicy today because I seen the thumbnail already the first ever reaction to the drawing of a girl and when I look at the thumbnail I don't know if it's gonna be super safe for work or not <laughs> just kidding let's jump straight in guys oh the music probably kind of copyrighted so we're not gonna look at this okay the drawing is kind of sped up which is a bit unfortunate always love like some real-time drawing oh and it's also narrated in Japanese which is cool but doesn't help us a lot actually and that that's what I was uh, talking about like some huge uh, shapes it's already done with the sketch and I assume he will start directly with inking because who the hell needs a second sketch, a cleanup sketch or whatever? Yeah, of course he does. Jump straight in with the G pen. Is it the G pen? Maybe it's a marble pen. But the line is really, really tiny. So maybe it's also a Sachi pen. I don't even know. I tried all of them, but I can't really tell the difference from the nib. But it's definitely the one where there is like pretty regular line not a lot of line weight to the lines i guess so now for doing some thicker lines he's actually not using a pen anymore and is using a felt tip pen so he's still using a pen but that's interesting i think he really likes to use really thin nibs also on this felt tip pen and actually what i find really interesting is that he actually does super scribbly like kind of strokes I think it's always the first thing that you learn when you go to art school or go to an art teacher that he says if you want to draw good you have to push your lines through and not do these scribbly lines as you can see if you just don't listen to your teachers or don't listen to your art school you can become an amazing artist as well it's just all about the practice and I don't think you should set such a big focus on how to do stuff because if you practice a lot you will get better and better no matter what your method of drawing is ah okay now he's actually using a bigger felt tip pen for some black shapes uh, where the shadows are and everything uh, by the way as i said all of the comments all of the titles are in japanese and i don't really know that character or the artist so if you know who that is Kentaro. Okay, we can work with this. Let's Google this. Is it Miura? No, can't be Miura. Maybe it's this one. I don't know guys. Definitely let me know down in the comments. You are always so much more informed about all the characters than I am. Still waiting for the continuation of True Love. Okay, that's a little hint. We can do something with that. Okay, we have the artist. The artist is Kentaro Yabuki. Yeah, I think that's the character. Lala Satalin Deviluk. <sighs> Horrible pronunciation, probably. <laughs> hey, that's enough research. Let me know down in the comments if that's correct or not. Yeah, and now he's using some whiteout to correct some small mistakes. You can see here he painted over the lines. And yeah, that's always a fascinating technique to paint over it with white outlines. Because, uh, yeah, when you scan it in and everything, you don't really see it that much. Yes, wow, that looks so good. I just think that's super satisfying. I don't know why guys and now he's also Correcting some of the lines that he probably doesn't like that much um, And now you can see that you can clearly see a difference between the white of the paper Which is a bit darker than the white out itself, which is like pure white but uh, when he scans it in and when they do like a digital correction of the colors, I think you don't see it at all anymore. So it's, it's a great way to do something. Of course, this way you will always see it with your blank eye in front of the paper. Um, what is he doing now? What? Is that a new technique? What the hell did he do there? What? 
I've never seen anyone doing that. I thought in the beginning he's adding screen tone, but no. Maybe that's to, I don't know, speed up some drying time of the whiteout or something, but he didn't draw over the hair, so that cannot be it. Again, guys, you have to let me know what he's actually doing there because that's the first time I see this technique and I've never ever seen it anywhere, never ever heard about it. And that's what I love about Illustrator Reacts, guys. We have done so, so, so many episodes already, but in almost every single video, we learn something new, which is cool. And I learned something new as well. So that's, that's super cool. Okay, now he's adding some sweat, putting in a lot of effort in the inking process. Like, you know, going over the line several times until he's 100% satisfied, which is cool to see, I guess. Ah, okay, now he's adding screen tone, okay. Ah, I've done a video on screen tone lately and it was so much fun to add it, but it was also such a crazy effort to do this. And when I look at him doing it, it looks like so effortlessly, you know? That's again super unfair, which is probably not unfair because he's doing this for like years and decades probably. So it's definitely not unfair that he's a lot better than I am at uh, trying it once, but it's epic. Also how he scratches in some highlights into the screen tone to make a, like a smoother gradient. I really love that. Also what my biggest problem was with screen tone is basically that I always pressed down on the paper too hard. So in the end I did not only cut out the screen tone, I also did cut out the character out of the paper. So yeah, that's definitely also uh, comes with a lot of practice to exactly know the right pressure that you have to put on when you scratch away some parts of the screen tone and when you cut out the screen tone. Wow, but look at the, the effort that he's putting into like adding some detailed shadows on the armpit and stuff. That's that's crazy, guys. I, I really love love that. I really adore that. Wow. That's just insane, if you ask me. Ah, okay, that's the final illustration. I thought we maybe will also see some coloring, but we don't. And look at this now that this is scanned in. You barely see or you don't see any of the whiteout anymore. I mean, of course you see it right here, but it gives like a really nice structure to the eye. But on the hair, they probably uh, removed it a bit. Um, and yeah, you can see the whiteout right here where he actually wanted to add some sweat and wanted to stick out some parts probably like here or here. And on the eyes, of course, the highlights. Wow. Anyways, here are some more of my videos. If you want to support the channel and like the channel, you can join as a member. Uh, that helps me to keep these videos coming. And then I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye.